and welcome to Learning is Fun with Miss. In today's lesson, we will learn about idioms and match an idiom to its correct meaning. Idioms are phrases or sayings which we use in everyday language. These phrases or sayings don't always make sense literally, but we can still understand what they mean. For example, to let the cat out of the bag. This idiom is not really about letting a cat escape from a bag. It's really about revealing a secret that should have remained a secret. Here are some other idioms you may or may not have seen or heard before. Can you figure them out? Let's keep going. Cry over spilled milk means to be unhappy about what cannot be undone or something that cannot be changed. It does not mean that someone spilled their glass of milk and they are very upset. Let's look at an example. Peter is crying over spilled milk, moping about losing yesterday's game. Raining cats and dogs means raining heavily. It does not mean that there are animal raindrops falling from the sky. Let's look at an example. Ashley rushes home because it's raining cats and dogs. Yell my head off means to yell loud and long. I yelled my head off at the football game. Couch potato, someone who is lazy or not very physically active. Here's an example. During the summer, some kids become real couch potatoes and watch TV all day. Having cold feet means feeling nervous about something. I'm all ears means you are ready to listen. Written all over your face means when people can tell how you feel by looking at your face. Two peas in a pod means being similar in appearance or personality with someone else. For example, Maria and her best friends love to play pranks. They are like two peas in a pod. Here's an idiom. It cost me an arm and a leg. The meaning is it cost a lot of money. She forgot, so I jogged her memory. The meaning is, she forgot, so I reminded her. It really doesn't have anything to do with jogging. It's just an idiom. Now, keep in mind that idioms are commonly used expressions whose meanings do not relate to the literal meaning of each word. Juggling is a piece of cake means juggling is easy. It completely slipped my mind means I forgot. This ring cost me an arm and a leg means the ring was expensive. So, keep in mind again that an idiom is a common phrase or expression that means something other than the literal meaning of the words. In this example, the idiom is, she was feeling blue. It does not literally mean that she was feeling or looking like the color blue. It just means that she was feeling sad. Under the weather means to feel ill. Here's an example. 
I came home early as I'm feeling a bit under the weather. Cat got your tongue means can't you speak? Snug as a bug in a rug means warm and cozy. Go the extra mile means make an extra effort. Butterflies in my stomach means feeling nervous. To go down in flames means to fail spectacularly. Once in a blue moon means rarely. Now let's check for understanding. Directions. Choose the correct response. It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs, so A, watch out for falling animals. B, make sure you take an umbrella. C, keep your pets inside. Be sure to pause the video, mark your answer in your notebook, and we will go over the answers together. A night owl. Cassandra is a night owl, so she doesn't usually get up until about A, 11 a.m., B, 11 p.m., C, 7 a.m. A whale of a time Ollie said he had a whale of a time at the jazz festival and he, A, wishes he hadn't gone, B, wants to go again next year, C, probably won't bother going again. Can of Worms the investigators knew that examining the company's books might open a can of worms. They suspected there'd be A, a huge number of worms, B, nothing seriously wrong, C, evidence of serious crimes. Eyes like a hawk. Which of these people would need eyes like a hawk? A. A pilot who searches for lost people. B. A sound engineer who records music. C. A chef who makes cakes and desserts. Now, let's see how well you did. Let's go over your responses. It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs, so make sure you take an umbrella. This means that it's raining heavily. Cassandra is a night owl, so she doesn't usually get up until about 11 a.m. This means she stays up late and gets up later in the morning. A whale of a time. Ollie said he had a whale of a time at the jazz festival and he wants to go again next year. This means that he enjoyed himself and had a great time. Can of worms. The investigators knew that examining the company's books might open a can of worms. They suspected there'd be evidence of serious crimes.
Can of worms means opening up something that is locked up or hidden. Eyes like a hawk. Which of these people would need eyes like a hawk? A pilot who searches for lost people. Eyes like a hawk means to look with scrutiny and with carefulness. Precision. Now let's match the idiom to their correct meaning. On the left hand side are the idioms. Back to the drawing board. Back to the salt mines. Bark up the wrong tree. Be a copycat. Be a marked man. Bear one's cross. Bear the brunt of something. On the right hand side are the meanings. Be sure to match the idiom with the correct meaning by pausing the video and making notes of it in your notebook. We will go over the responses in a little bit. Now let's see how well you did. Back to the drawing board means to start over again. Back to the salt mines means to return to work on something that might be unpleasant. Bark up the wrong tree means to ask the wrong person or follow the wrong course. Be a copycat means a person who mimics or copies what someone else does or is doing. Be a marked man means to be in danger of harm by someone else. Bear one's cross means to carry one's burden. Bear the brunt of something is to endure the worst part of something. I hope you did well. In today's lesson, we learned about idioms and matched an idiom to its correct meaning. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.